Hello, and welcome back to Pod Popper's Place. Today, I am participating in Kendra's Card Challenge number nine, Video Hop and Giveaway. I'm on the Kendra's Card Challenge's design team, and we're each sharing a project using one of the 15 card sketches from the new quarterly card making challenge. I will be sharing card sketch number five. There will be a giveaway prize for this video hop, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at each stop along the way. In the description box below, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup and all the details for how to enter the giveaway. I hope you take the time to watch all hop videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing and click on the little bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. You can also use the hashtag, hashtag KCC9 giveaway hop to find all the videos in this hop. Kendra's card challenge is a free quarterly challenge where you take six sheets of six by six pattern papers and turn them into 15 cards. Kendra provides the cutting guide and sketch layouts. For this quarter's challenge, I chose Echo Park's paper pad, Farmhouse Living. I am also using this very old stamp set from Michael's Craft Stores that has this wonderful rooster on it that matches my paper perfectly. My idea is to create a sunrise behind the rooster, so I use some Gina K Masking Magic and stamp off just with the excess ink left on the stamp and then hand cut that out. I didn't have a sunset stencil to use for this design, but I have this Petal Mandela stencil from the Crafters Workshop that has rays in the center of it. The stencil is currently on clearance at the scrapbook.com website, and I will link that below. I use Stampin' Up! colors in red, orange, and yellow variations, and was careful to work from the center out as I created my sunrise. Since I didn't use any pixie spray to hold the stencil down, I was careful to go very slowly and only work from the inside out so that I wouldn't mess up any of the rays. One thing I love about Kendra's card challenge is that it gives you the layout for the card, but then you can use your creativity to add whatever stamps or stencils or other embellishments that you like. Once I was happy with the coloring and how much color I had on there and the variation, all I did was add some little um, bit of yellow to the corners just to soften out the edges. And then I love the reveal when you pull off the masking paper. It worked out perfectly. I could have left the black and white image alone and as is, but I wanted to use some of the color that was in the rooster on the card. So I got out my Spectrum Noir markers and just added some detail to different areas of the rooster. I did leave the background area behind the rooster alone and just added the color to the rooster and then some accent color onto the weather vane as well. For the detail on the middle part of the weather vane, I used a gold paint pen. The key to those is to make sure that they are shaken very well so that they work properly. For my layering pieces, I used some Stampin' Up! I believe Daffodil Delight paper that coordinated with the rooster background paper that I use. The only actual piece that is from the cuts for Kendra's card challenge is the red striped design on the front. For the two embellishment pieces on the front, I decided to use buttons. I've had these Stampin' Up! buttons in my stash for decades now, but I do pull them out and use them occasionally. And I love this metal round one. It's heavy duty, um, but it's very interesting and kind of unique. I added some very lightweight string to the square red button, and then I added some hemp cord to the silver button in a crossed pattern tying both on the back side. Because the knots are on the back side of the buttons I wanted to use some foam tape so that it was already standing up away from the card and the tie on the back side would not interfere with it connecting to the card. After stamping the back of the card with my Handmade in Iowa by Pod Popper's Place stamp, I am putting all of my pieces together just as shown on Kendra's Card Challenge PDF file. Not only is Kendra's Card Challenge great for having the design layout already for you, but it also has all of the measurements as well. So all you do is cut out according to the measurements and then you have all your pieces ready to go to put your cards together. Be sure to watch Kendra's card challenge video 
at the very beginning of the hop so that you can see how to cut out each of the six sheets of paper. For me, I just write the number of the card sketch on the back of the sheet of paper as I cut them out. I then stack them in order so that they're ready to go as I create each of the cards. Kendra's card challenge number nine runs from January 1st to March 31st. The deadline for entering is March 31st and all the details are on the Facebook site about how to enter. And also each month there are prizes to be won. So be sure to share your creations on the Facebook site as you finish them so that you can be entered in the monthly prize giveaways. The last detail for my card is the three little dots in the right corner bottom and I'm using my Nouveau stone drops to do those little embellishments. What's fun here is it could just be about anything. I'd like to invite you to join in on the challenge. It's open to card makers worldwide and there are many prizes to be won throughout the quarter from some amazing companies. Links to where you can download the free PDF and other important information can be found in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you will join the challenge.